Okay, Mike, um, I've been coming to Getfield since the late 1950s, early 1960s. Showing your age up, is it? <laughs> and that was just after the old grandstand had been burned down. Obviously, there's been a, an awful lot of changes and improvements right. in the period since then, but particularly the last 20 years, uh -huh. um, with the new grandstand built, uh -huh. and new floodlights, improved floodlight in dressing rooms. But the last five years, the pace of change has picked up quite considerably, uh -huh. and particularly in terms of corporate hospitality. That's right. Can you maybe just tell us how that all came about? Yeah, we've made a great strides over the last four or five years. You know, it's an, it's an old stadium, so we've got to keep on top of it, uh, or you, know, you can't stand still. You know, uh, the tier eights, we've changed the, the, the roofs, we've replaced all the, the enclosure roofs. Uh, as you see, we've, we've obviously increased the size of hospitality. Hospitality has been really popular uh, over a number of years, um, but you know it, it was it was selling out, so we felt we had the opportunity to, to increase it. So we've increased it to 120 uh, due to demand, and, and and these are selling out very quickly for the remainder of the season. So it, it's fantastic. It's great to see all these people enjoying themselves at the club. Yeah, and what capacity have you in corporate hospitality now? It's 120, uh, 120 upstairs. Obviously, we've got the lounge downstairs, but unfortunately, we're still having the red zone. That's getting used as a as a secondary dressing room just now. So until things change, you know, we're we're, we're kind of stuck with the, the hospitality upstairs. Yeah. Uh, but that's 45 downstairs as well. If we can uh, get that back from the from yeah. the opposition team. And uh, the importance of corporate hospitality clubs that like are built must be immense nowadays. I mean, it's something that's just come in over the last ten years, uh -huh. maybe, or uh -huh. maybe a little bit longer, but. I mean, how, how important is it, It's vitally important, um, and, uh, although I'm not understating that this season has been fantastic. We've sold almost a thousand season tickets. You know, the crowds are up, 12, 1300 home supporters every week. Uh, a lot of kids are coming to the game. That's, that's what we want, you know, the kid today is the adult tomorrow, supporter for life, that's, that's what we're looking for. So, you know, hospitality is fantastic, it just adds to that, you know, because, you know, it takes a lot, lot to run a club. We want to get the best players in the park if we can and help Dick stay where we are uh, and get better season upon season so all these things help yeah and, and what can a fan expect when they come to corporate hospitality what's the, what's the offer they'll certainly get a great day you know you, you come in at half past 12 uh, you get a, a three-course meal uh, Brian Kirkgill does entertainment you know you, you get your, your drinks as well with the meal and hopefully you get a great game um, and then afterwards you come back in uh, to 5 30 uh, where you, you get the man of the match the manager comes up and gives his take on the game uh, Good or bad, and um, so yeah, everybody leaves. Have a great day. Yeah. And future plans? Anything? Yeah, future plans. Um, just hot for press. We've actually been uh, looking to get a commercial director in. You know, we're doing very, very well as it is. The existing board members are doing fantastically. You know, we're bringing in lots of corporate hospitality and and, and, and commercial aspects. But we've just appointed, or going to appoint this week, a commercial director, our first commercial director, and it's Paul Reed. Now, Paul Reed. Um, for a lot of people who knew, he's a good friend of the club. He, he, he played here at 16 as a, a youth player. Um, he's been at Dun United for the last 22 years, um, but he felt he wanted to change the direction. So we, you know, we've attracted him to come to the club. Um, you know, he's the same views as us. Um, so he'll be out and about speaking to people and, and really just helping us move along. That's well, a fantastic coup, as you say, and hopefully in the future we'll see players coming from Premier Club Starbroth. That's right, yeah. The beauty of Dick, you know, as we know, you know, Dick's got great contacts. You know, we've got a, a great squad of players, uh, local player, uh, sorry, uh, part time, best part time players we can, supplement it with, the, you know, the best loan players, and, and Dick's got an eye for that. So as you can see this season, we've certainly attracted uh, good players to the club.